So a staging website is simply a copy of your website that allows you to jump in and make changes without affecting the live website, which is obviously very helpful. Like if you're updating the theme or you want to jump in and edit the HTML or CSS or add a new feature and you're worried about maybe potentially breaking your website, you don't have to worry about that because if you break a staging website, then you can just delete it and then restart it again. And also just allows you to try out new things and you just don't have to worry. You don't have to edit in real time. So when people are on your site, your site's like all of a sudden changing colors or something strange like that. Now, WPX Hosting as part of your hosting package. They do provide staging that's quick, efficient, and easy because creating a staging website manually can be done, but it is a little bit technical because you typically have to create a subdomain, usually like staging.example.com. Com, and then you have to make a copy of your website, upload that copy to the subdomain that you just made, make the changes. And then it's really technical and usually like quite difficult to move those changes from the staging website to the live website. Typically you have to go back into the live website and copy the changes that you made to the staging website. Not so with WPX hosting, because when you make changes to the staging website on WPX hosting and you're happy with your work, then you can just migrate everything over at the click of a button. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how staging works with WPX Hosting and why I like it so much. So let's get to it. All right, everyone, so this is WPX Hosting. So this is the pricing page for their different plans. As you can see, uh, it's a little bit more aimed at established websites. Maybe you have a portfolio of websites, maybe two, three websites that are getting traffic, making some money, you're looking to upgrade uh, from you know, a budget shared web host to something a little bit uh, more premium. WPX hosting is a managed WordPress web host. Okay, so that's why it's called WPX. <laughs> WP as in WordPress. So this doesn't support other types of websites, only WordPress websites. Now, one thing I really like about WPX hosting is one, their support is outstanding. Two, they have data centers in various countries. And this one right here, unlimited sites migrations. This is why I recommend WPX hosting for people who are ready to kind of upgrade their hosting because you can just move all your websites over here free of charge when setting up your account. So navigate the WPX hosting and go ahead and purchase a plan that's appropriate for you. All right. So once your account is set up and you have your websites added, here's how you create a staging instance. Now, I just want to briefly mention that depending on the plan, you are limited to how many websites you can have within WPX hosting. So if you're on the business plan, like I am, I have three out of five websites created. And so a staging website does count as a website. So if you have five out of five, you can't create a staging instance. So I definitely would recommend that you have four out of five websites at all times. So you have the flexibility to create a staging instance. Anyways, here's how you create a staging instance for one of your websites. So navigate down here and click on create staging. Next, select the domain name that you want to create a staging instance for, and then click on deploy staging instance. Now you're going to have a warning pop up and it just states that if your database is larger than one gigabyte or your WordPress website itself is larger than four or five gigabytes, then the staging area may fail. That's a really big website. And most of you are not going to have a site this large. You can click on don't show this pop up message anymore. Anyways, when you're ready, click on proceed. Next, WPX Hosting is going to begin creating a staging site for the domain name that you have selected, and you're going to receive a notification once it's done. Okay, so after a minute or two, it should be completed. Now you should get a notification that says successfully created a staging for the domain name that you selected. And so now you have a subdomain created staging.yourwebsite.com. And that is it. Okay, so once you create a staging website, what do you do? Well, you want to log into your website and then start editing and making changes to the staging website because now it's kind of like a sandbox area where you can make changes and break your site and not worry about it because you can always come back to the staging website and delete it. Anyways, to log in, it's simple. Click on the login button right there. It will pop up over here telling you that the login to the staging website is the same as the live domain name. So go ahead and do that. Click on this and it should have a warning pop-up saying your connection is not private. This is totally fine. Click on advanced, then click on proceed to the staging area. Next, just log into your website like you normally would with your username and password. Welcome to your WordPress dashboard for your staging website. So at the very top, you're gonna to notice huge SEO issue. You're blocking access to robots. All that means is that you're telling search engines don't index this, okay? 
And so it's pretty standard, it's totally normal, and there's nothing wrong. Now again, you're going to be on an unsecure staging.yourwebsite.com. Now you can just freely make changes to your website. You can upload a new theme, you can edit your current theme, you can upload new plugins, you can completely break your website. If you break your website, you can just delete the staging environment, reload a new staging environment, etc. And finally, once you're happy making changes to the staging version of your website and you're ready to merge all those changes to the live version of the website, it's incredibly simple with WPX hosting. There's no need to download your website, no managing databases, none of that. You just navigate back to your WPX admin dashboard and you click on merge to live. Now it's going to pop up with a warning saying that everything that you made changes to on the staging version are going to become live on the actual website. And so that's the whole point of the staging. But when you're ready to proceed, click on yes, and it's going to begin the merge. And once the merge is finished, then you're free to delete the staging website by navigating over here and clicking the trash can. And that is it for this tutorial. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to create a staging website using WPX hosting. Overall, I'm really happy with the staging functionality that WPX hosting provides. I find it quick, easy, and efficient because like I said in the beginning, creating a staging website manually can be done, but it's just quite technical. Dealing with creating copies, uploading copies, managing databases, migrating changes, etc. It's all just quite annoying and cumbersome, whereas WPX hosting just makes it quick and easy. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.